Is travel hacking possible? Seven insider tips to travel the world cheaply. Ever wondered how some people seem to be constantly jetting off to exotic locations, exploring far-flung corners of the world, and taking off their travel bucket list? All without breaking the bank. Come on, do they have a secret stash of cash? Are they secretly millionaires? Or do they know something that the rest of us don't? Well, in today's video, we're going to let you in on a little secret. It's called travel hacking. And no, before you start commenting, it doesn't involve any illegal activities or shady dealings. Quite the opposite, in fact. Travel hacking does sound like something straight out of a spy movie, but trust us, it's not as clandestine as it sounds. It is a completely legitimate strategy used by savvy travelers all over the world to make their travel dreams come true. Travel hacking is a mindset, a way of thinking about travel that goes beyond the traditional save up for a year or two week vacation mentality. And you know what? Anyone can become a travel hacker. All it takes is a little knowledge, a lot of enthusiasm, and a willingness to think outside the box. Now that you know what travel hacking is, let's not waste any more time and start things off with our first tip, maximizing credit card rewards. But I already have a credit card, man. That's great, but does your credit card reward you for your spending? Does it give you points that you can redeem for flights, hotels, and other travel-related expenses? If not, then it might be time for an upgrade. Travel Rewards credit cards are a cornerstone of travel hacking. They offer points or miles for every dollar you spend, which you can then redeem for travel. To maximize those points, first of all, sign up bonuses. Many Travel Rewards credit cards offer generous sign up bonuses. Some even offer 50,000 bonus points after you spend $3,000 in the first three months. You can also try category bonuses, special promotions, and strategic spending. Just make sure to pay off your balance in full each month to avoid interest charges. So, you've got your Travel Rewards credit card and you're racking up points. That's a great start. But if you really want to take your travel hacking game to the next level, you need tip number two, leveraging airline miles. Also known as frequent flyer miles, are like the currency of the skies. You can earn them by flying with a particular airline or its partners, and you can redeem them for free or discounted flights. Most airlines have loyalty programs that reward you with miles every time you fly with them. The more you fly, the more miles you earn. A pro tip here is to always sign up for an airline's loyalty program before you fly with them. Even if you don't plan on flying with them again, you never know when those miles might come in handy. Now, the most powerful way to leverage airline miles is by booking award flights. These are flights that you pay with miles instead of cash. The cost in miles depends on the destination and the class of service. But with a little planning and flexibility, you can score some amazing deals. For instance, did you know that with just 25,000 miles, you could book a round trip flight from New York to Los Angeles? Pretty good, right? Next up, tip number three, smart packing techniques. Hey, what does packing have to do with travel hacking? Well, a lot actually. Smart packing can save you money, time, and stress. And who doesn't want that? The first step is to pack light, literally the golden rule of smart packing. The less you pack, the less you have to worry about. You'll save money on check bag fees, save time at the airport, and save yourself the hassle of lugging around a heavy suitcase. Plus, it leaves more room for souvenirs. You can also try choosing versatile clothing, using packing cubes, and always having a snack in the bag. Might seem like a small thing, but it can make a difference. Roll, don't fold is also a simple technique that can save a ton of space in your suitcase. Phew, 
Who knew packing could be so strategic? But wait, there's more. Our next tip is all about timing. Being flexible with your travel dates. We know you only get time off work in July. Or you've got to go to that wedding in August. And that's okay. Life happens. But if you have the flexibility, being open to traveling at different times can save you a bundle. It all comes down to supply and demand. During peak travel times, like the summer months or around holidays, demand for flights and hotels goes up. And as we all know, when demand goes up, so do prices. However, during off-peak times, the opposite is true. Demand goes down, and so do prices. This is when airlines and hotels are more likely to offer deals to entice travelers. Websites like Skyscanner allow you to view flight prices for a whole month, making it easy to spot the cheapest days to fly. Similarly, Google Flights has a flexible dates tool that shows you how prices vary based on your departure and return dates. Timing is everything, isn't it? But what about the actual flight? Ever thought about budget airlines? That's our tip number five. Well, as the name suggests, there are airlines that offer flights at a lower cost than traditional airlines. They do this by cutting out extras, like free checked baggage, meals, and in-flight entertainment. Instead, they just charge for these services separately. You can choose what you want to pay for. So, these flights can also offer significant savings. And as a travel hacker, that's music to our ears. Budget airlines can offer some incredible deals, especially if you're flexible with your travel dates and destinations. In fact, some budget airlines offer flights for as low as $20. There are budget airlines all over the world. In the U.S., you have airlines like Southwest, Sprint, Frontier, and Allegiant. If you're looking to fly to Europe, airlines like Ryanair and EasyJet are known for the rock-bottom prices. And one more thing, while budget airlines can save you money, they shouldn't come at the expense of your comfort or convenience. So, just make sure you do your research, read reviews, and choose an airline that offers a good balance of price and comfort. Up till now, we've talked about credit cards, airline miles, packing techniques, budget airlines, and off-season travel. But what about accommodation? After all, unless you plan on sleeping on the street, which we definitely do not recommend, you're going to need a place to stay. And this is where tip number six comes in. Try house sitting. If you don't know, let us explain. House sitting is exactly what it sounds like. You take care of someone's house while they're away, and in return, you get to stay there for free. This could involve tasks like watering the plants, feeding the pets, or just making sure everything is safe and secure. Kind of a win-win situation. The homeowner gets a peace of mind knowing their home is taken care of, and you get free accommodation. Websites like Mind My House and trusted house sitters are platforms that connect homeowners with potential house sitters. They offer a range of options from city apartments to country homes all over the world. Now that you're even staying in other people's houses, you might have some questions, need advice, or just want to share your experiences. Well, our final tip is all about community. There are travel forums and online groups where people share tips, ask questions, and discuss all things travel. You can say they're a gold mine of information and can be an invaluable resource for any travel hacker. There are plenty of options out there. Some of the top travel forums and groups in 2024 include Skipped Global Forum, Travel Pulse, Travel Conferences 2024, Travel Tractions Travel Conferences, We'll drop the links in the description for you guys. So don't be shy, ask questions, share your tips, and get involved. After all, travel hacking is more fun when you're doing it with others. Well, that's it for today. Seven insider tips to travel the world cheaply. So what are your go-to travel hacking tips? Do you have any unique travel hacking tips? Drop your comments below before you go. Don't forget to check out our recent video on 
Student Loan Nightmare. How to escape debt in six simple steps. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.